Well, here's a really neat video. I wound up seeing this online. I wish I could have thought it up myself, but it's called an inside out Christmas ornament, or it can be just a wooden ornament. One of the things I'm showing here is you have to mark the wood so you can keep up with what goes where after you've turned the outside of it. So you can't really turn the inside. You have to turn the outside and then flip it over or turn it inside itself and then turn the outside. So you're always turning the outside. Never mind. I'm not going to get confused with that. The point is they call it inside outside. So I kind of made a mark of a pattern or something similar that I'm going to just to give me an idea how to get started. And I'm using the square easy tool carbide tip with a negative rake. My main thing here is I've got tape holding it together. Yeah, I've got it in between two good strong things, but really the tape is the only thing that's holding this end together. And a little bit later I wind up putting a just a waste block on the end of it because the more I tightened it up because it was in all four of those pieces, the more it kind of tried to split it. And I didn't feel real comfortable when I needed to turn it up. Like I really need to turn it up right now as far as speed goes. But I was just trying to get it roughed out and get it down to where it doesn't have a lot of resistance. I tried adding some music to the video last week. I think it was last week. And nobody really said anything about it. And so I guess everybody had the same mother I had that if, uh, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything. However, I really would like some information. So I'm just going to go back to the way that I was doing things and just kind of telling you what's going on. I tried to keep a lot of the video slow, but the time actually just adds up and you have to cut a lot of things out. So this is where I realized that it was starting to separate. You can see a gap as it's opening up. So I took a waste block and opened it up. Uh, and a cut a mortise in it that just it barely fits and then I actually put glue on uh, hot glue on all four sides just to help hold it in there I felt a whole lot better so I was able to turn it up and then take the scraper and kind of push hard on it and get some of these marks out of it this is a negative rake hurricane you know I, I keep forgetting I think this is an inch wide it may be a little more it's definitely not less but it uh, didn't come as a negative rake I just put a 25 degree um, uh, grind on the top of it but it's a, it's a good tool it feels feels good and just trying to get all this stuff out and I decided as I was using the other that it was just getting rounded wider and wider and I kind of wanted to keep a somewhat of a straight line so as usual the the hurricane bowl gouge with the 55 degree grind on it cleans it up real good cuts cuts well Now I'm just going deeper and deeper, just trying to get the pattern that I'm looking for. The good thing about the scraper is that it takes it takes it off really slowly, and sometimes you need to do that to kind of think about what you're doing. So you'll pretty much always see me go back to it, and I can always clean it up with the with other tools but in this case with the bowl gouge okay so what I'm doing now is just starting to sand it you gotta remember this is the inside 
So I'm smoothing it out. I started with 180 because I'm not really trying to shape it. And this particular wood is softwood. This is the, and I've had so many different names for it. I'm not really sure. It's basically a sister of the mahogany. I was told something different the last time I went and picked it up. So not really sure exactly what this is. Swantini is one of the one of the words that when I googled it it came up so and then actually he said it was something else so not really sure but I do know it's a really soft nice wood cleans up real easy and cuts real easy thought it would be good for this particular project okay now all the glue that held everything in place is still holding it in place and then I need to get it get it apart and actually I cut that down it was probably about a five minute deal so now I'm taking the tape off I do have it marked as to what it was so now I spun everything out where the arrows are point outward and the numbers are still the same so now we actually glue it together and then turn the outside I was just making sure that I had that particular one right. One of the main things that you want to do is make sure that there's no glue either running on the inside or just anything like that because you're not going to be able to get to it later or you won't be able to get to it very easy. So around that hole, you have to make sure that the glue doesn't build up or it and sing so that's what I'm just doing is cleaning it up so I wound up putting two pieces together like this and then let it dry and then came back and glued the two pieces together for to make the four and I let this sit for overnight. It was late anyway. Okay, so this is the next day and taking all the clamps off and taking a look at what I got. So it looks like it's not going to fall apart and didn't fall apart to begin with, so looks like we're headed in the right direction. Okay, so I actually started turning outside and didn't have the camera on, so I didn't do very much, but just kind of rounding, rounding it down on the outside. Well, let's just watch and see how it takes shape, and I'll be right here.
I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, leave a comment, and above all, remember, God is good.